Wonders of the World by Claudia Martin. So this is like a similar setup that I have done for other like photography travel type of books. Um, yeah, yeah, I've done a few others like this in the past. So you get an introduction to the topic, so the wonders of the world. Um, so you get Africa and the Middle East, um, Europe, the Americas, Asia, and the Pacific, and that's basically the setup for a few other books that I've done like this. So like abandoned um, industrial um, places, churches, um, different other places, but yeah. Um, so you get photography of natural locations and made man-made locations. Um, and so just like other books in this, you get like the main photo and a ca the caption next to it is where it says the place and beef, beef brief, um, introduction to that spot or like it's, its importance or whatever. So like, like this Pompeii would be both man-made and natural because like the buildings the people did make but um, like what happened was a natural um, event. Um, Panama Canal, Panama, Pyramid of the Moon, Teo Tawakan. So you get like the um, infantrymen, um, terracotta army shanks China. Like I was first introduced to like like this in, um, in like an Asian course that I took in university, um, but. Like, it's interesting to, like, see again in, like, different, um, resources like this. So, and, like, you do get, um, a few different viewpoints, um, looks, introductions to places. Um, and it's really nice for people who want the travel or photography inspiration. Like, it's not, like how to photograph a certain place in China or in Peru, but um, what other people's angles or where they've been. Um, but yeah, it's a good coffee table type of book. Um, so yeah, Wonders of the World, happy readings.